Howdy, howdy, everybody. Hope you're doing well. Uh, this is, uh, just a story that I have to tell that unfortunately happened, uh, the day, uh, of Strain of Deep in Conversation, so I didn't actually get time to put it into that episode, because I absolutely would have if I could have. It wasn't a snow story, but it's a story that needs to be told. Uh, and it actually didn't really happen on the day of, it happened at the night of around 11.30 at night. Because uh, around that time, you know, I had just had a piece of chocolate. It was like a Hershey truffle thing. It was pretty good. But I hate leaving my mouth off with a sweet thing. You know, I always like to have something like salty at the end or just like savory. Because I, I just don't like the sweet. I don't like a lingering sweet in my mouth. That's just, I don't that's just that's just how I am. But I hate that. So I was like, you know, I need something. And you know what? I, I, it's payday tomorrow, so I figured, hey, why not just get some, like, sheets, because sheets got the good food. And so, you know, I got, like, a, like a, I got a breakfast sandwich, because breakfast sandwiches are one of the greatest things in the world. And, and I asked my family if they wanted something, they got something, and then while I was making my mom's sandwich, like, for the, the, the options, I kept joking that there was like, like, because there's always marinara as an option as a sauce, which by the way, I love. Best sauce you could have. Arguably over cheese. As long as it's the right marinara. If it's too chunky of marinara, I don't like it. But if it's also too liquidy, I don't like it. It's gotta be a fine mix between the two. But, I saw that, and I was like, okay, maybe I'll add marinara to her sandwich. She said, no, I don't want it. I'm like, alright, fine. And I was like, you know what, they have like 79 cent hot dogs. I'm gonna get a hot dog too, you know, and just I fucking love hot dogs. And they've recently, like, like, really done themselves a favor. Because before, when you get a hot dog, you can, like, add some cheese, like, get, get, put it on a pretzel bun, and that was about it. Now they get, let you put toppings on it and sauces, and one of those sauces happened to be marinara. And I was like, oh, dude, I, I gotta try this. So, like, because I freaking love me some marinara sauce. So, I was hooked. I wanted that food now. I know it was 11.30 at night, so it was a bit of a stretch <laughs> to get it. But, I was like, you know what? I'm going to give it a go. And so, I finished the order. And, I'm going to go pay for it and, like, get it started, like, start the delivering process for Uber Eats. But, they say, no, you can't do that. There's no drivers around your area at this time. It's very busy. We are not going to allow you to get this delivered to you. Which I figured was the point of Uber Eats. I guess you can have it picked up, too. Well, like, then why not just order from the website? You know, that doesn't make much sense. But, alright, whatever. You know, I'll, I'll do it. Fine. I'll cave in, and I won't get it. After a couple tries of me trying to get it again, anyway. And then I saw there's another sheets around the area. It was a bit further away, but it was okay. And I was like, alright, yeah, I'm going to get... Uh, let me try that one, because maybe maybe it's different. And it was different. For whatever reason, there's people over at that sheets and not the other sheets. I don't get it. But So I made I had to rewrite the entire order. I couldn't just transfer it to a different store, even though it's the exact same items in the exact same way. But it was like six bucks cheaper at the end. So I don't know how that came out. Uh, go that sheets. I would say I would order from there from now on. But after the experience I got, I probably won't. <laughs> and it all started when I hit the order to place order button. That was the biggest mistake I've ever made in my entire life. <laughs> because what happened next was, you know, the usual. You know, it's like, it'll be here in like an hour. Because it's, you know, it is pretty late. They have to find a driver. So it might take a little while. Like, Alright, that's fair. I don't... Whatever. And I placed this order, like, I don't even know if it was 11.30. It was somewhere, like, around 11 o'clock. I'm gonna, I'm gonna look it up. One second. This is completely off topic, but does anyone else, whenever you use Uber Eats and they try to click into something, the entire app just wipes itself and you have to go back to the very beginning of the Uber Eats, like, pages? You have to, like, punch the store in and everything again? That's what happened to me so much. And it's so unbelievably annoying. It doesn't show me the exact time I ordered it, which is a shame. Yeah, it doesn't show me the time I ordered it. It shows me the one I got it, which is a bit of a spoiler, so I'm not going to do that to you. But, so, around 11, 11.30, we ordered the food. 
No, it would have had to have been like 11.10, like early 11 o'clock, because the, the latest time it said it would do it was like 12 o'clock with midnight. So that was like the latest estimate at first, because I guess they, it, it just takes about an hour. So I'm like, all right, fine, I'll take it. It's like, so like 30, 50 minutes. I was like, okay, that works. So I'm waiting, waiting, the food's being made, and 12 o'clock approaches, and they still haven't found a driver. So they're saying it's going to take a good bit longer, maybe like 12.30 to get your food. We're really sorry. I'm like, okay, that's... That's whatever, I mean, hey, you know, give me my food, and it'll be okay, I don't, I'm, not, I'm not complaining, you know, I, I, I just kind of want it, if it's a little cold, it's whatever, but, it, it, who cares, but, and eventually, and like around that time, a driver actually picks it up, and I'm like, holy shit, there's a driver out there right now, and I might be getting the, the, the time frame completely wrong, Because I'm, I wish I could see the message history with the driver, but I might be getting the complete the timing completely wrong. I think around 12 is when I think she got it before 12 or something. I don't even remember. But I'm sorry, it's, it's only happened last night, so of course I forgot half the details. But yes, yeah, so they got the, they, the 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 driver, you know, accepted the order. I'm like, great, okay. And I look at to see where they are. They're like kind of far, but you know, if they if they go over to get it, I'll probably get it by like 12.20 or something, that's what, the, that's what the timer was saying now, like 12.15, 12.20 I'm like, great, alright, that works for me, I'll do it and you know, they drive slightly towards it, they go across a bunch of weird sounding stores like going bananas and like, um and there was a, there was a store that was the like the exact like directions that you would take and like the exact like it's a it's a like corner of this street and this street when you take a right or some it was just some it was the stupidest name I ever heard but but regardless she kept like driving and but then eventually she like stopped and she got like, she hit like a corner where it was a Buffalo Wild Wings and like oh she's gonna st watch her stop for Buffalo Wild Wings and she she did like. See, so she literally went into the Buffalo Wild Wings parking lot, according to the Uber Eats map. And I'm like, oh, why? <laughs> why is that? And then she got out of there, and instead of driving, continuing towards the path, she turns back around and starts driving a different way. I'm like, what? Wait, what? And she, like, pretty much drives, like, almost further away than she started. And I'm like, what, what is she doing? So I, I like... And, I don't like being the guy who complains, you know, that's just, uh, that's just lame, you know, it's, I don't like doing that. So I just sent them, I sent them food, hungry, <laughs> please. <laughs> so I was just like, and like, as like a joke, I was joking, like, hey, food, yum, yum, yum. <laughs> but they didn't respond to it. They read it, but they didn't respond to it. And I was like, oh, okay, I mean, at least they saw it. That must mean they're going to, like, pick it up. And at this point, I already assumed that they were just doing two apps at the same time like uber eats and like grubhub or something uh which is very well might be the case because for the next like 30 minutes i see them driving into residential areas and then driving to a store then driving to a residential area and driving to a store and driving to a residential area and driving to a store like she was definitely just leaving me on the back burner which has happened so many times on uber like just like there was one time I was just I, I like they were, like this around this time last year, where it was cold as balls out, and I had to freaking wait for a car to get to, for work because uh, my the coworker I was working with doesn't drive, so they couldn't drive me home. But they I, I waited out there for like an hour because they were too busy driving other people around a certain area, and when they get they finally got to me like an hour later, they said, "Oh man, you know, everyone is apparently just needed rides over there," and I was like, "Well." I mean, I, I guess I'm like I'm gonna be their savior tonight. I'm like, I don't. F what? Why are you telling me this? I just want to go home. <laughs> I, I didn't get mad with him, but he seemed really nice. But it's just, why do you? Why do people pick up an order and then just don't do it? And then there was one guy on Uber Eats, which was literally the last time I got Uber Eats. By the way, I, we needed baking soda to make some soda bread. I probably I don't know if I ever talked about this story with you guys, but it's a fucking crazy story. But they. They, 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 we got the order, they got, they accepted it almost immediately, and they did not deliver that freaking baking soda for three hours, for like over three hours, because they, the map showed them just stopping in parking lots the entire time around there, around wherever he started, 
for the, like two hours and I kept sending him messages and he just kept not looking at him and eventually I was just like come to my door because that was like one of the one of the preset options but I thought it was kind of funny so I, I don't know if he saw it as a threat or he's like ah shit I, I should probably go actually do it and then he finally took like the hour drive because he was practically in fucking Narnia by the time he accepted the order and then he got us our food and then our baking soda our like fucking five boxes of baking soda that's all we needed or so I thought. Then, then, then apparently we didn't have any butter, so we had to call again, which took about an hour. But it was ex an acceptable understanding hour that it should have taken, not three. But back to the story. I see that she's just, if I don't, for the last half hour, she's just been driving residential, blah, 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 blah. And so I'm like, hey, are you coming for my food? And this lady has the audacity to lie to me. And she says, I don't. Oh I, have, oh, I have to screenshot it. I have to screenshot it. Because I was like, I don't know if... I don't know if I'm going to need to screenshot it or not in case I try to like get a refund if they never show up. Where is it? Where is it? Where is it? Where is it? Okay, so this is at 1223. This is at 1223. After like about 20 minutes of just watching them go back... 20 minutes to half an hour of just watching them go back and forth residential areas. I'm having problems with my car. Doesn't want to start. Waiting on a jump start. I'd you... Which I think means if you. If you want, you can cancel... And someone else will deliver or just give me like 20 minutes. This is at 12.23 a.m. Keep in mind, most of my family has fallen asleep at this point. Because <laughs> it's just absurd. It's just, it's, it, but then one of my, my brother came home from work. So it was me, uh, him, and my sister. My mom was like zoning out <laughs> at this time. So she probably wasn't going to have her sandwich. And I'm like, okay. So be it. So be the way. <laughs> And, but thing is though, she wasn't waiting on a jump start. She wasn't stuck anywhere. She was fucking driving around because the, the map, the Uber map shows you what they're doing when they accept the order. And they were just driving around residential areas. And I didn't say anything because I didn't want her to cancel. Because if you, if you order too late in the night, they just, the Uber's like, there's no drivers available. Try again tomorrow. Or they just won't connect you to a driver. So I was worried that I wouldn't get one at all. So I just sat there waiting for this lady and eventually the 20 minutes goes by and I'm like, all right, I, I didn't say anything. Because again, if I said something, I was afraid to be like it canceled. So I was, uh, like to cancel the order. And so what I do is I go to the support system and I'd be like, hey, and they're like, I, I, eventually before I go to the support system, I was like, all right, let me try to cancel. Let me just try to cancel so I can at least keep my money at the end of this. Because now at this point, the, the food is going to be ice cold. But I was like, whatever. Just, I'll take my food, you know. But I'll take I'll take the money back at least. But whenever I go to hit cancel order on Uber Eats, for whatever reason, it just tells me how to cancel the order. It doesn't actually let me cancel the order. Because then I go to do the instructions it shows, which is the exact same thing I already did. And it's like, oh, here's how to cancel. It's like, what? Let, let me actually cancel. But it, it, just, it doesn't. It doesn't let me. I, I'm assuming it's because I already the driver already accepted it, so I literally could not cancel the order. So like, all right, I'm gonna go to Uber support, and I explained to them in a super long, confusing message about like just how they've been keeping me on ice for like an hour, like over an hour at that point, and that I would I, I, they they're just not really communicating very well they're blatantly lying to me about why they haven't gotten to grab my food they didn't even take my food they still haven't gotten to the sheets they've just been driving around the area so they they've just been blatantly lying to me and at this point food's gonna get cold like i don't know what to do here <laughs> so and I, i'm too afraid i don't want to cancel because i still want the food even if it's gonna be cold as balls and my man saul Saul last name, I'm not going to give you his last name, but Saul and it picks up and he's like, you know, give me a couple minutes to call the driver and I'll, we'll see what the situation is and what's going on. I'm like, okay, that's fair. I'm okay with that. I'm not trying, I'm not being rude in the, in the messages. I'm, I'm just trying to, I just want to, I guess I'm, I'm hoping that maybe getting a call from Uber Eats will send, will just be like, okay, at least it'll address the situation. Maybe she'll speed up a little faster, but he comes back to me in like two to three minutes. And she doesn't answer the phone for him. She 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 ghosts the Uber support. She completely ghosts them. And I, and he's like, can you give me another two and three minutes to try to 
actually regain contact with her because she's not responding. And I'm like, yeah, do take your time, whatever. Yeah, you do what you want. He's like, thank you for being supportive. He go puts me on hold into the messaging system thing, which is no reason I know that is because every time he comes back, he's like, thanks for holding, which is like, dude, it's a <laughs> it's a text message, but I, I I guess it's protocol, so whatever. And he's just telling me that she's not responding to his calls, and I don't know why it's taking her so long. Because I guess he can also see that she's just been driving around fucking bum shit nowhere. So he's like, you can either cancel for free of charge, and we'll, we'll, we'll get that set up for you. Or you can try to reassign it. But that second or third call that he did, I think shot the fear of God in this lady. Because she went from like... I don't, I don't even, I, I can't give locations. But she went from like... The, where like the go nuts banana thing which was like maybe like 20 25 minutes away from the sheets to like almost like maybe five minutes away from the sheets in like five minutes she fucking booked it to the sheets after getting those getting several phone calls from uber she's like Gosh, I, I can't i can't lose my uber account i gotta go which is fucking insane like <laughs> i'm just glad which is kind of what i was i was like, at least hoping for from calling was that she would just do it but i didn't think she'd be going that fast she'd be going that crazy about it and yeah she eventually got into the sheets and I, i'm like messaging the guy and it's like you know i think they're finally going there i think you must have like you must have jump started their brain or something so like do you think it would be smart to let them get the food or should i actually reassign it because at this point they're almost there i think she didn't actually reach the store yet so she very easily could have turned around in my head i mean she's gonna turn around isn't she but then he's like, you know, wait and see if it gets delivered, because then it, if it, we reassign it, it might take even longer, so it just makes more sense to to wait it out if if she's actually going the way. And I'm like, okay, yeah, I mean, that's that sounds fine. And she, she pulls, she's right by the store, and then she gets into the store, she has my order, I'm like, alright, dude, I think, I think we got it from here. And then he's like, you can reach out again. To, for compensation, because this is this is this is ridiculous. <laughs> this is a crazy, this is a weird situation. It's been delivered extremely late, and I'm like, all right, yeah, that's that's fair. And yeah, I, I again, I wasn't really expecting compensation. Like it says on Uber that you get five dollars Uber Eats cash if they take a million years to get you your food, which I got by the way. It's good stuff. Uh, but then this was like added because it's so it's such a ex extraneous, extraneous, strenuous extreme i guess situation so it's like all right and then she gets picked up my food and we were all expecting at this point my sister is completely knocked almost knocked out cold they should barely talking <laughs> at this point so at this point i'm like 10 minutes away we got this there's no way this can go wrong and i was like they're going to turn around with my food aren't they they're just gonna take my food and run but they didn't they actually delivered it in like maybe six minutes again she was like scared out of her mind or something like she was, like she, or I don't know, but she just, she went faster than she needed to. Which is about damn time, because she spent an hour, to almost two hours, just trying to get my food. My food was sitting in sheets, ready, at like 12, like before 12, like 11, like, like, like 12, 11.50, 12 o'clock or something. Somewhere around there, I can only imagine, because it wasn't a lot of food. And I ordered that at like 11, 11.30, so I'm just trying to over-assume. And... At 1.13 a.m. So, again, I ordered it around 11. Because then, cause I remember specifically waiting two hours, or like almost two hours, like over to around two hours for this food. So I must have ordered it early in the 11s. And I get it. And it's ice fucking cold. Everything I got was so cold, except for my mom's sandwich, because she packed on the bottom. So, just the sheets people packed on the bottom. So, my mom was happy. So, that's all I care about, because like, she woke up to eat the sandwich. So, I was like, alright, great. I'm going to try to contact her at the compensation, because obviously, it's kind of insane. Like, I, I, I like cold food. I eat, like, leftovers cold, so I had no problem with it. But I was, I was like, man, like, my sister's got to eat cold french fries. I hate cold french fries. So I can only imagine her eating cold french fries was like, ugh. But, you know, I contact the guy, and he's not as gentleman-like and as, like, friendly as Saul. But still got me what I needed. So he, he couldn't get me full compensation, which is fine. I didn't, I wasn't expecting it. He gave me an amount, I think I only really wanted to pay like 15 bucks for everything, which is, like, about 
10 ish, 10 15 dollars cheaper than how it was. So I was like, okay, you know what? Hey, if you can get me anything, that's great. You know, I'm not gonna complain any for. I I I, I even said to him, I don't I don't really like to complain. It's just kind of a extra, like a bizarre situation. And you know, he's like, yeah, of course. And he's like, he got me the refund, like part a partial refund, which I was always more than happy with. And from there, you know, I ate the food. The marinara hot dogs were as good as I was hoping they'd be. <laughs> Surprisingly enough, they were pretty damn tasty, even though they were cold. Because, I, again, I'm, I'm okay. I'm perfectly fine with cold food. Hot food fucks up my mouth. It burns your mouth, so I don't, I don't really eat it as much. So, overall, a uh, pretty crazy experience. Again, I, I just cannot, I cannot press enough how long it took her to actually get there. Again... Like, two hours it took her to freaking stop t doing other people's orders to get my, like, few items at Sheets. Like, like you're, she stopped off at, like, a Wendy's, like, a Buffalo Wild Wings, and so many other stores. Before eventually being like, ah, you know, Uber is calling me now, I should probably go get this guy's food. So, fuck you, that lady. Again, I don't like to complain about, like, anything, really. But that is just, that's just insane. And again, because I, 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 another main reason I didn't really message her too much is I just didn't want to seem like an asshole. Because again, I didn't want to, her to cancel for the most part. But at this point, she definitely would have deserved it if she's been making me wait two hours for my food. Because again, it's not even like Uber was making me wait. She was making me wait. Because she already picked up the order like before 12 o'clock. Because the first message on this thing is like 12.05. So... She picked up the order pretty damn early, but she just took a million years to get it, and it's just crazy. And I just don't know. I don't know how. And like, she has 22 recommended like, like rewards for quick and efficient delivery. So I'm sure everyone else that she's worked with has been nothing. Has been nothing, nothing but joyous time. But somehow it's me. I don't get it. But yeah. So I mean, good food all around. Sheets not bad. Uber is not bad. It's just this one lady. <laughs> I don't know what the hell she was doing. Well, I know what she was doing because I was watching her drive and I just can't believe she lied to me. She didn't even just say, I'll be there soon. She gave me a fake excuse as to why she wasn't delivering my food in time, which absolutely fucking blew my mind. And then after that fake excuse, she didn't even try to pick up her steps. Because again, she sent that at like 12.20. I got the food at 1.13, so she took another 50 minutes to get there. Like, there's a 50 minute gap in between when she said, I'll be there, I'll get in like 20 minutes because my car is broken to actually get in the food. Which is just fucking mind-boggling. And I wouldn't have got it if I didn't contact support who then contacted her a few times. I can only imagine. So I don't think she had any plans. She did not make it clear that she had any plans to go to get my food. But either way, hope that was entertaining for you. Uh, I hope you have a fantastic rest of your day.